The hook I am using today is Gamagatsu's B10S in size 1 aught, and the thread is UTC Ultra Thread 140 in dark olive. Bring your thread back to the bend of the hook. Then measure a rabbit strip back a bit from the eye and extend a hook shank length past the bend of the hook and cut to size. Tie in some olive tinsel twist from Fly Tires Dungeon. If you don't have this, Flashaboo could work as well. Wrap the tinsel twist up the hook shank and stop just shy of the hook's eye. Capture it and trim off the waist. Pull out some dubbing. This is yellow Kraken dubbing, also by Fly Tires Dungeon, but any long fiber dubbing will do. Tie in right where the tinsel twist ends with just one wrap, then twist the clump to evenly cover the hook. Now pull the forward facing fibers rearward and tie those in as well with a few tight wraps. Now take your trimmed rabbit strip and cut a taper at the end of the strip like so. Measure where the strip will rest on the hook shank. Then push the strip through the hook point at that spot. Pull the strip forward and wrap it in with multiple tight wraps and trim off the waist. Trim off some of the dubbing to length if you want. Take another rabbit strip and tie it in securely. Now wrap that rabbit strip around the hook shank a few times, stroking all the fibers rearward. Then capture it with your thread and trim off the waist. Now pull all the fibers rearward and make multiple firm wraps around the strip to secure. Then you can whip finish your fly. Take a large fish skull head and push it into the hook. This will push back the materials to fit the weight properly. Then you can simply pull off the head. Now we're gonna add some adhesive. In this case, I am using Fletch Tight, but you can use a gel super glue as well. Coat the wraps heavily, then push the fish skull on tightly. Then pull the fibers of the rabbit fur outward to create a flat and wide profile. They will stay that way due to the glue under the fish skull head. Now grab some super glue and put a dot on one of the eye cavities. Then drop the eye in the cavity and push on tightly. Do the same thing on the other eye. To ensure the eyes stay on, wait for the super glue to dry, then grab some UV resin. In this case I am using bone dry, made by Solares. Add just a bit of resin around each eye, then cure it with the UV light. This will ensure the eyes do not come off, even with really hard hits from fish. And you're finished. The fish skull head keeps the hook point upward and swims really nicely right on the bottom. This fly is really pretty simple compared to many other sculpin patterns, and is very effective. In fact, you could get away without wrapping the hook with tinsel twist or even adding the dubbing. Thanks for watching! As always, a list with all the materials used today is in the description section. Also, please tell me what you think about the fly in the comments section. If you like it, please do me a favor and hit the like button. And if you don't, go ahead and hit that thumb down button. If you feel I earned your subscription, please subscribe. 
Now, you guys go out and catch some fish.